so we would study about the maddox rod test now so what is maddox rod rod test that basically it's a misnomer it's not a rod it's a type of lens so can you see a red lens placed here so it has some stripes which has a which basically converts a point source into the horizontal source okay so this is the main principle and what it does is that this basically dissociates the two eye okay so now both eyes are functioning independently where it is used it is basically used to diagnose the phorias and also it is used to measure the amount of squint now here as you can see there is a red colored disc with several parallel grooves it converts a point source of light which when we see through this lens into a perpendicular source uh, which is horizontal to the axis of the these lines so let's say if there is a vertical squint the second image that is formed would be horizontal image and it would be either above or below so either one of them and in case there is a horizontal squint there would be a horizontal line either in right or in the left okay so a horizontal line either sorry a vertical line either in the left or in the right now we would study about the interpretation of these tests now let's say there is a horizontal squint or there is a vertical squint so what we do is that if we think that there is a horizontal squint we would put the lens in front of the eye let's say left eye where the axis is kept in the horizontal plane okay so can you see here the axis these axis are in the horizontal plane and it is done at the distance of let's say 6 meter so 6 meter is the distance we usually take when we think that there is the squint for the distance and if we have to measure the squint for the near we take a 33 centimeter difference so with the right eye he sees a yellow light and this yellow or white light is dissociated by the horizontal axis into the a vertical bar now this vertical bar he sees on a maddox tangent scale now this is a maddox tangent scale where there are markings in the horizontal plane and the vertical plane okay like this so in orthophoria let's say uh, what is orthophoria orthophoria it means that there is no squint so the dissociated line and the right eye image they would overlap okay in case of esophoria esophoria means convergent squint this yellow light would be seen at that point only but from the other eye it would be slightly divert okay so because this light because now esophoria would be here as it would dissociate this movement of the convergence it would go slightly in the opposite direction okay so esophoria the left eye image that would be a horizontal bar would be a bit outwards
the amount of squint we can basically tell from this scale that let's say it is coming here so this would be the amount of squint okay now let's say there is a exophoria so in exophoria because there would be a dissociation the left eye sorry the right eye would be the same in the center but the left eye because it would be dissociated now the second image would be seen a bit inside let's say here so amount of squint we can diagnose on the basis of how much this bar overlap the maddox tangent scale this is a maddox tangent scale similarly in case of vertical squint let's say there is a hypophoria the image would be seen upwards and in hyperphoria the image would be seen downwards the amount can be then detected from the maddox tangent scale okay now sometimes there is a question asked that regarding the double maddox rod test so basically in double maddox rod test what we see is that there is a we put the maddox rod, rod lens in front of both the eyes and it is used to measure the cyclo deviations let's say there is an superior oblique or inferior oblique palsy so the there can be a, a deviation which is horizontal also and which is vertical also we call it cyclo deviation so double maddox rod test is used to measure the cyclo deviation so these are the important points regarding the maddox rod and maddox tangent scale